St. John residents watch as a fire rages at the American Iron and Metal facility. The fire broke out around 1 a.m. and crews have been battling it for more than 12 hours. Incident Commander and Fire Chief Kevin Clifford said the fire is rooted deep within a pile of crushed cars, but says it's too early to say how the fire started. I do feel at this point we're beginning to make progress and probably up to an hour ago, I didn't have that sense. So I, I think we are beginning to make progress. Flames could be seen shooting several hundred meters in the air Thursday morning with large amounts of black smoke billowing out of the crushed pile of cars. Public Health says that plume is likely filled with chemicals and contaminants, and anyone who sees or smells smoke should shelter in place. If you are uh, elderly, uh, very young, and anyone that's living with cardiovascular or lung health conditions, this is, uh, this is a very concerning event. American Iron and Metal is a scrap metal recycling facility that has had issues in the past with large explosions and two workplace deaths. Residents nearby are concerned as homes are mere meters from the site. It seems pretty big. I don't know, they keep seeming to have uh, issues with this place. Um, I'm fully supportive of recycling and stuff, but it is pretty close to a lot of homes. Andrew Miller says the fact the fire has been burning for so long worries him. Fire Chief Kevin Clifford said that fire may have been burning for several hours before smoke became noticeable and it may be until Friday morning before it's considered contained. Global News reached out to American Iron and Metal for comment but has yet to hear back. Natalie Sturgeon, Global News, St. John, New Brunswick.